Hi, could you please just introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Dado Morell. I'm a professor of dermatology at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. So, why did you do this study? This study of rules of brutinib in pemphigus was called the Believe study, and it was conducted to see if this um, short-acting and very safe reversible oral bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor could rapidly control pemphigus based on a study we had done of monotherapy of the same drug in pemphigus in dogs where it showed that it was very effective and safe. And how did you do that? Well, the study involved experts in pemphigus from Australia, France, Greece and Israel and the patients were both new onset pemphigus patients and chronic relapsing patients. They were given um, up to 0.5 milligram per kilo per day of prednisone, whereas normally patients require 1 to 1.5 milligrams per kilo per day of that medication, plus the rules of brutinib for 12 weeks, with the primary outcome being the proportion of those patients who could achieve control of disease activity in under four weeks. They were followed for 12 weeks and then uh, after that followed up for safety for a further 12 weeks and uh, the results were very exciting. What, you, what were your main findings? We found that 52% of the 27 patients recruited achieved control of disease activity on this low dose of steroids in under four weeks and four of the patients began the study on no steroids at all and three of them achieved control of disease activity in that first four weeks. In fact, some of the patients achieved disease control in only two weeks. And we even had six patients achieve complete remission. And we also had very good safety profiles, 70% decrease in validated PDAI scores, and improvement in validated APQOL quality of life scores with an excellent safety profile. Why is this study relevant to dermatologists and patients? This study is extremely relevant to patients because they often become dependent on steroids in traditional therapies for pemphigus. Also, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it's been recommended that patients avoid uh, long-term immunosuppression and there is an alternative medication, rituximab, which is very effective. Um, but it takes about three months to start working and also once it suppresses the immune system the patients have very little immune protection for sometimes a year or more afterwards and makes them more vulnerable to infections such as COVID and they can't easily be reversed. So a fast-acting but reversible drug like rulzabrutinib offers a safer alternative to existing treatments. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the interest.